Hey you! Are you tired of drifting like this? And this? Well, here are 10 tips to help you drift better. Number 1. Desk Setups Getting the best and the most comfortable setups is very important for yourself, so that you will have the best performance in the game. Number 2. In-game Keybinds Having a comfortable Keybinds will help you to have a better reaction time or even a better performance. Number 3. Car Selection this is a tier list that I have made about all the cars in Prodigy Drift. And you are probably wondering about why C6 is in the middle of tier A and B. And I will explain it later on. For beginners, I would recommend you to use C6 as your starter car, because it has a greater horsepower in stock. However, C6 is actually hard to rev up the engine. Here are some footages of different cars drifting. So I recommend you to change your car after getting enough money. But if you really want to drift with a C6, you got to have a good gear and throttle control. After that, you will realize that C6 is actually a good drift car. It does drift smooth. Number 4 Map Selection As you know that there are 4 maps in this game so far. In my opinion, I think these 2 maps are the best map for beginner. From a bird eye's view, you could clearly see that the turns in this map is a lot longer than these two maps. Which is hard to drift on a low horsepower car. For the other map, you may think that it's easy to drift on. However, the roads on this map are very steep. Which is also hard to drift with a low horsepower car. Number 5. Transmission. There are three types of transmissions in game, which are automatic, semi, and manual. If you are new to the game, the default transmission will be set as automatic. You could change the transmission mode by pressing N. Or you could also open the menu to change the default transmission. When you are drifting, you should not use automatic transmission. Instead, you should use semi or manual transmission. It is because when you are using automatic transmission, it could cause... To sum up, an automatic transmission is a multi-speed transmission used in motor vehicles that does not require any input from the driver to change forward gears under normal driving conditions, which mean that it will avoid your car going on high RPM. But we need high RPM to drift. So for beginners, I will recommend you to use semi-transmission. Because it is less complicated than manual. You could change your gear by pressing E and Q in semi-transmission. But you have to press the clutch then press E and Q to change your gear in manual transmission. Number 6. Gear Selection. I would suggest you to use 1st to 2nd gear if your car is stuck. 1st to 3rd gear for any car under 700 horsepower. 
first to fifth gear for any car under 900 horsepower. All gear with a car that is over 900 horsepower. If you are having a long turn, you should use a high gear to drift with. Similarly, if you are having a sharp turn, you should use a low gear to drift with. Number 7. Throttle and Steering Control. This is a very common mistake that everyone has made. Which they were just holding the steering button or accelerate button. Here is a case, when you are driving normally in real life, you won't go in full scent with the throttle nor the steering. So you got to tap it instead of holding it and cause oversteering. Number 8. Handbrake. Here is also another common mistake that everybody has made. Which is using handbrake to brake. And the purpose of using handbrake in drifting is to slide the car to a specific position instead of stopping the car. Number 9. Modification. You can drive your car into the garages behind the spawn to modify your car. In my opinion, I think you should upgrade to performance first then your body kit. So that you could make more money first. There is a modification called camber in performance. For front camber, I will recommend you to use a negative camber. But remember not to have too many or too less camber, height, and wheel size. Or your car will be hard to drift with or even won't get drift points. Moreover, on the performance setups, you should buy all the racing stuffs, because other is a waste of money. Number 10. Focus. When you are drifting, you should focus on your car and the road in front of you. You should not be watching on other cars. Nor the chat box. Reminders. Your goal is to first do not crash, then staying on the track, then drifting continuously. Lastly, have a good lines. The only way to accomplish this goal is to practice. So this is the end of this video, I will soon made a video of how to drift like a pro. I hope this video could improve your drifting skills. See you next time.